Well, hello everybody. Uh, welcome back to my uh, YouTube channel. Um, it's just a, a short video. I haven't done one for a while um, due to the um, COVID and, and everything else that's been going off and that. Um, but I've I've just done some modifications to the um, K40 air assist nozzle and laser pointer that I do. Um, I've had a lot of feedback people saying that they find it difficult adjusting the beds when they put a bed in um, for uh, adjustable bed I mean I've got one in a simple one it works perfect for adjusting screws at either side manually do it and it's brilliant um, and I thought well maybe if people are um, asking maybe I should do something so um, I made an adaptation to the new clamp head that I do. Um, I'll show you in a moment what the kit entails. Um, there's very little change, the air assist nozzle doesn't change and only one clamp side changes um, and it makes levelling your bed and setting it up really simple. Um, I've done it um, so that you can either um, leave it set and leave the adjustment arm in or you can just take it out I prefer to take it out why have something in that um, you've no need to have it in it's, and it's simple but um, I'll go over to um, the um, K40 laser and I'll just show you what the components um, consist of I have one on my K40 as it is and it's brilliant so um, as I say, I do the standard kits and I do this one as well now, so, uh, but anyway, let's, um, let's go over to the K40 and, uh, and I'll show you the, the bits. I'll just swivel you around as gentle as I can. Right. Hope you can all see that. <laughs> right. Um, I'll just bring it a bit near if I can. Um, I'll pop it on something. There we go. You can see that. Right, what we've got is the air assist nozzle, which obviously hasn't changed. That is the same. Um, that's not pump. The laser pointer, that is the same. The clamp has changed because now instead of being both the same, one's different. One's got, you can see, it's got an added extra on at the side. And the other added extras you get is that that is your laser adjuster so you can get your focus right now I should imagine all the K40s would be rather the same but um, it gives you enough movement on it now that top clamp part there that comes off that's just a locating locking screw and you have one on there on that on the fixture one as well so if at all you want to lock this in situ you can do but I prefer not to but it's there so you can adjust it lift it up and then uh, and, and away you go now I'll show you on the um, the K on my K40 um, I'll just move these out of the way as I say it's only a short video is this one but um, I don't, well, I'll put the light on, I don't know whether it, it might but wipe us out like a pointer. Might be a bit too much that, but let's see. How's that do? Yeah, it's a bit too much, is that one? No, oh, it's fine. Should be alright. Right. 
Try and get you a bit near this if you can. Just pause it a moment. Right. I've moved you around now so you can see the K40. Um, right. It, this is just to. Um, I'll show you in, install onto the um, K40. Um, um, now, obviously, mine has not the standard frame uh, bedding. It has an adjustable one. Now, the adjustable one is, is actually simple. You just take the frame out that's, that comes with the K40. Just move that back. And this one has is a piece of stainless steel, uh, meshed hold stainless steel. It's pretty stable and it's pretty, it's very flat. Um, and I put two inch by eighth inch flat stainless steel bars underneath, and it rests on one shelf and the other shelf. Um, I've drilled and tapped roughly in line with however the holes are the centre of it, the holes, however you want to space them apart I took them as far as I could so they did about 8-9 inch apart but it depends on where the holes are, what you're using I mean you might use something else so you'd have to work that one out but I use this and it's, it's very good um, and the, the cap head screws and uh, sorry, button head screws Alan and stainless steel they're just threaded onto the bar so you can adjust them up or down. They don't have to have lock nuts on, they don't need it. This doesn't move. Once you've done that, you know you can adjust your bed up and down, which it gives you more um, flexibility for different materials. Uh, and if you're gonna, I'm thinking about purchasing a, a rotary axis, so which I haven't done yet, uh, it will fit in here and you just take all this out and then you adjust the rotary axis up and use the device that I've, I've put on here um, or the adaptation that just connects into your, I think it's your Y axis um, which is that one uh, your X axis is the one that moves up and down from uh, well rather across on the rotary axis but that's if I purchase one I'll do a video on that um, so go back to the thing now yeah, I'm just hoping you can see that there as you can see is the is that that's that one that's on this side of the clamp so, so with the adjusting rod that pops in there now that is actually set at my focusing height as you can see if I'm cutting I've been engraving some 8th inch white faced MDF so that's all it's a little piece so if your sheet's in there I, I use a, I tend to use a, a scrap of whatever it is because obviously you need to get to your adjusting screws your four adjusting screws so I know that's perfect that so all you do is once that's in, go across to your left corner, put that underneath, and you find out that's just scraping that now. Over to there. I tend to do left, right on one side, because if you adjust them, it's lifting the plate up. If you do it here, it cockles it, so um, I do that so it lifts it up this side. That's okay. Across to this one. Just that one. Trust to that one. And adjust that one. And you can see it's just scraping it by moving it. So once I've adjusted it to my face, two minute job. Take that out, put it there. Now you can actually if you want, if you so wish, you can actually put that in and then just gently nip that screw. And that'll lock that in place but I don't tend to do that it's, I only put it in because people might want to do that and not so you could you'd lift it up off the surface a little bit and lock it off and leave it in and, it, and, it, and the 
the CNC, the CNC, the laser cutter will work quite happily with that in. But I don't, I take it out and I put it near me. Stop. Emergency stop button. And you're now set up, ready to go. Literally, less than five minutes. It's really simple. You know, you can get all, ele you know, um, electric um, operated adjustable beds. Um, you can get mechanical, which um, has a belt round and you adjust one and it adjusts the rest. Well, that's all right, but it costs you more money and you want it to cost you as little as possible. This is relatively cheap. I think this cost me about £5 in total. I got some stainless steel bar, a bit of flat plate, a, a tenner at the most, and have a ad perfect adjustable bed. Um, obviously, you're limited to what depth you can go to, down to the shelf here. But that ain't a problem because all I do, if I want to go down further, is I've got holes in the, in the base of the um, unit, and all I do is take the plates out, the bars out, drop them through the holes, which still allows me to adjust them, put the bed on top of that, and then put whatever you want on it and adjust it up. But I don't put anything thicker than inch, uh, really, in here, so, you know, but it still does give you that flexibility. Uh, obviously, the point is on. As you can see the point, I'll flick it on and off. There. Um, it looks wider than what it is because the reflection's been picked up and it makes the beam look wider, but it, it's very, very fine. You can adjust that once it's set, it's very little. Um, but it, as I said in the previous K40 video, this comes into its own because you know exactly where you're cutting to ut utilize all the space. Now, the other thing is, you'll find out that I utilize. Once you take the original plate out of here, it gives you flexibility to cut with a bigger cutting area. But now I've never cut this far. But if you left that in, you find out that that'll touch that. So if you take it out, it'll go even further. Now I've never cut right round there, and same with there. You can actually um, there is a maximum travel. Whether it would hit anything there, I don't know. I don't go, tend to go up to it, so. I just take it out, um, but as I say, it, with the feedback I have from the air assist novel and the pointers, everybody's loved them. Um, but I just thought I'd do an addition to aid a bit of the because there is a lot of K40 users out there, believe it or not. And not everybody can afford you, your, your bigger laser cutters, your, your glow forges, and, and what have you. Um, and these are simple, the work, it, this machine worked, it's worked faultlessly, it's absolutely brilliant. I purchased a proper um, CW3000 chiller for it, um, and I got, I used to use the pump, which is adequate in a bucket, and, and no problem with it. Um, change the water quite regular, um, but I upgraded that, but I don't intend to spend a lot of money on something when um, this works perfect and it does the job and it's accurate and the fine detail you, that you can get with this is incredible and and as I say all I do I did it the other days now and again is the slides here and the wheels get a little pick a little bit of residue from cutting in uh, cells on it and it picks you up and you can find out it feels lumpy uh, I cloth wipe the wheels and the the um, actual running frame and then I put um, a bit of like silicon grease on and uh, and oil the bearings and that's it nothing else and this thing's worked faultlessly as I say so I hope this uh, little addition to it makes um, the K40 a little bit more easy to set up if you put a uh, adjustable bed in if you've not got an adjustable bed it's pointless you just need the clamp and the air assist nozzle and the pointer which does help but when you've got a adjustable bed it's it's pretty good for what it is with the additions onto it so i'll just move you back up this is 
where I'm not uh, not your average cameraman. But anyway, I'm back. Um, as I say, I hope it helps the K40 users out there because this is predominantly what it's for. Uh, and there are a lot of users out there, there's sold enough of them of China in this country um, and in other countries. Um, I'm going to put um, a link on my, my um, eBay to this, um, show this video and hope it helps people out there. As I say, the feedback that I've had has been uh, surprised me really um, and I think that if somebody wants to change I'll, I'll print just this arm off for them and I can print whatever but I can do complete kits as well so if anybody wants to add it I'll just do one side um, and it'll be accordingly if somebody wants if you want to email me over it um, feel free um, as I say it's only a short video but to all the viewers out there thank you very much for the support that you've given me um, and I hope that um, I get some good feedback from it and until next time I'll see you all later